many roads must a man walk down? adopted 20 resolutions condemning Israel and six on all other 191 countries, including the United States. The Human Rights Council has a permanent agenda. It has 10 items on it. One of them is about human rights situations that require the Council's attention. And one of them is about human rights violations by Israel alone. One out of 10 items only on Israel. The Human Rights Council has had 10 regular sessions and five emergency special sessions only to condemn Israel. Since the inception of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights half a century ago, the world has watched a series of genocides and human atrocities, including the massacre of Bosnians in a supposedly UN-protected safe area, the slaughter of just under a million Rwandans in 1994, and the carnage of 5.4 million victims in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Libya, 2009. The court system is controlled by the state. Citizens continue to be arbitrarily arrested and detained with no right to a fair trial. Five Bulgarian nurses and a Palestinian doctor were uh, arrested in 1999 uh, on the allegation that they were involved in a huge HIV infection, uh, infecting 450 children. The five nurses and I were forcibly arrested, prosecuted, imprisoned, brutally tortured, convicted and sentenced to death three times. Tortures included beating with sticks, using current, hanging on the window sill and the inner sash, and finally, in May 1999, they took off my clothes and used electric stick touching the intimate place between my legs and the nipples of my breast. The torture was so severe that there was no option left for them either to die or to confess. Libya is a ratified member of the UN Convention Against Torture. Membership to the UN's Human Rights Conventions is voluntary. The trouble with the United Nations is you can be a member of the Human Rights Council without having the least bit of interest in protecting human rights. Saudis are members of the, the Human Rights Council, the lead UN human rights body, the Cubans, the Chinese, the Russians, um, there are no membership criteria other than geography. Iran, 2009. Any citizen can be sentenced to capital punishment for the crime of undermining the state. The definition of this term is arbitrary, most recently including political dissent, conversion out of Islam and homosexuality. A large number of those executed are children under the age of 18. Ahmad Batebi was sentenced to death for having been randomly photographed for The Economist magazine during a student demonstration. They tied my hands to the chair and they kept me awake so long that eventually I lost um, consciousness and then they cut me and put salt in me so that I would wake up. I was a student filmmaker in Tehran University. He was active about human rights, women's rights and children's rights. Uh, in 98, uh, we had one uh, demonstration and the uh, Iranian government arrested me and my friends and sent to jail. Uh, government told me uh, you must dead because you show bad face of Iranian government. Sudan, 2009. 
The ongoing massacre in Western Sudan began six years ago. The Sudanese military, together with government-sponsored militia, are systematically slaughtering citizens from the southern English-speaking farming tribes. So far, half a million have been murdered and three million displaced. The genocidal government of Sudan came to their um, power and in the earlier stage of this government uh, they uh, scratched my family, they uh, were um, burning my village down early morning and they were killing over 50 people of my own people. In 2008, the International Criminal Court filed 10 charges of war crimes against the incumbent Sudanese president, Omar al-Bashir. That was a truly historic judgment. And it was the first time that it was done within the context of ongoing criminality. Now, the problem is that the International Criminal Court has no enforcement powers. They are dependent on uh, the country uh, whose national has been uh, indicted or against whom an arrest warrant is issued, surrendering the person to the International uh, Criminal Court or the UN Security Council forcing it uh, to do so. The UN Security Council can seek to enforce uh, the arrest warrant against al-Bashir. I suspect that's unlikely to happen. It's equally clear that uh, uh, Sudan will not surrender neither Ahmed Harun nor al-Bashir. So the question is, what can be done? For the Durban Review Conference, I will, I, I will tell you clearly, I don't put a big hope. Because the issue of Darfur is not in, of course. They are not coming to condemn the, race, the racism of the uh, Sudanese government and the genocide which is uh, still going on or continued in with slow motion. We have more than 10 or 15 resolutions. None of them was taken in action. Shows that the racism is starting in the UN itself. That's what is taking place right now. How can your government chair the planning committee for a world conference on discrimination when it is on the list of the worst of the worst when it comes to discrimination? discrimination and human rights violations. The United Nations is controlled by countries that are um, non not fully free democracies. It's simply a matter of, of the numbers. It really isn't very complicated to understand. There are 192 member states of the United Nations, 117 or 18 of them belong to the so-called non-aligned movement, which is really aligned against the United States and other free and democratic societies. So we come back to the need for some moral and political and diplomatic and juridical leadership from a quarter that will be respected and may be acted upon. But we don't have that vehicle. We simply sit down at the UN, throw our hands up and say, well, that's all there is. Um, well, whose fault is that? You know, the, the agency's uh, more than 60 years old and it's about time we got creative in the 21st century about thinking about uh, uh, a vehicle for for actually making some progress on democracy because the UN isn't going to do that for us. I wouldn't throw the system away because not all states are accepting exactly the same rules. There's still common ground for discussion. It's a big world. Yeah.